In this video, we are going to determine whether the lines through a given pair of points. So, this is the first pair of points, and this is the second pair of points. We would like to determine whether the lines through these pairs of points are parallel to each other. Now, before I solve the problem, let me give you a little bit of theory behind the problem. Here it is. If two straight lines are parallel to each other, let's say these two lines are parallel, and I call the slope of this line M1 and the slope of this line M2, then their slopes must be equal to each other. That means two straight lines are parallel only if their slopes are equal. Also, conversely, if the slopes of two straight lines are the same, then the lines must be parallel. That means this. That means it goes bo in both directions. If lines are parallel, then the slopes are equal. Okay? If the slopes are equal, then the lines are parallel. So, in order to solve this problem, we need to find out the slopes of these lines. We are going to have to find the slope of this line and the slope of this line and compare them. And I'm going to call the slope of this line M1 and the slope of this line M2. If M1 is equal to M2, then the lines are going to be parallel to each other. Now, we are going to use the slope formula M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. And I have labeled this point as my X1, Y1 and this point as my x2, y2, and my first slope, m1, is going to be y2, which is 4, minus, this minus comes from the formula, right, this one, y1, which is, by the way, negative 5. I need to put it inside the parentheses to avoid any confusion. My x2 is negative 7, minus, this minus comes from the formula, x1, which is 2. Now, I simplify it further. m1 is equal to 4. Negative and negative is going to make it positive, plus 5, divided by negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9, which is, by the way, 9 over negative 9, which is nothing but negative 1. So, the first slope, M1, is negative 1. Now, we are going to find M2. I label this point as X1, Y1, right here, and this point as X2, Y2. Again, we are going to use this formula. Now, my new slope for this line is M2 is equal to Y2 minus Y1. Y2 is negative 6, negative 6 minus, I make it a little bigger, which represents this minus from the formula, y1, which is 8, by the way, divided by x2, my x2 is 11, minus, this minus is coming from this formula, like from the denominator, x1, which is negative 3, and I'm going to put negative 3 inside the parenthesis to avoid any confusion. On the numerator, negative 6 minus 8 is negative 14. On the denominator, 11, this negative and negative is going to make it positive. So it's going to be 11 plus 3. So it's going, it's going to be negative 14 over positive 14, which is negative 1. So my M2 is equal to negative 1. Now let's look at M1 and M2. See, M2 is negative 1, M1 is negative 1, so M1 is equal to M2, meaning that these slopes are equal, which means that the lines through these two points and the lines through these two points are parallel to each other. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.